Hey Pisces, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of September 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, share with your friends and family. And also, if you would like a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading from me, then you can purchase your reading directly from my website on lamartownsendtarot.com. After you purchase your reading, I will send you an email confirmation within 24 hours letting you know that I received your payment and then within one to three days or sooner, typically sooner than three days, we'll get your reading done as soon as possible. With that being said, I'm so excited to do this reading for you all. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, first through 12th house, North Node, Chiron, South Node. Basically, if you have Pisces in your chart, this reading is for you, okay? So let's get right into it and see what's in store for you all for September 2019. So let's get into it. What's in store for Pisces for September 2019? This is Virgo season, Pisces. The Pisces are all about structure. Getting back into the routine of things. School is starting. Some people are starting new jobs. It's a lot of change. What's going on with Pisces in September? Okay. September 2019 definitely sees you focusing on your goals, obviously, but focusing more so on maybe your path, like wanting to find your path, what you're meant to do here on Earth. You know, what is your purpose? I feel like there's something about Pisces where you're discovering your purpose, you're finding your purpose. There's something about purpose here connected to money and how maybe you can connect your purpose to money to um, fund your life but there's also something about if it's not that it's this theme of making two seemingly opposing forces or two seemingly or something all right maybe it's not two things maybe it's something that seems out of your reach maybe all right and it's like how do i how do you how do you get there how do you get to the point where it's in your reach pisces where you don't feel like it's outside of your reach because if it don't feel like it is outside of your reach truthfully pisces whatever it is some of you it, it could be related to love all right maybe there's something about you and your partner where you feel there's something out of reach But I'm feeling, Pisces, there's also a fear of commitment on your part, a fear of committing too much. Because it's interesting, I'm picking up, you, there's a fear of commitment, possibly, a fear of putting all your eggs in one basket, a fear of going full force into something. Because, one, I feel like there's a fear of failure. And then, like, there's different la there's layers that comes with that. You know, with the fear of failure comes, you know, the fear of embarrassment. The fear of maybe having to go back home or, you know, being poor. There's a lot of different layers here, I feel like, that need to be uncovered, all right? It's like an onion. you got to peel back the layers. But there is something about where you are. So a lot of you are on the right track. You are on the track with a purpose and plan for your life but maybe what's not on track is the belief in yourself for some of you what's not on track is not being at the right place at the right time some of you need to make some sort of uh change some of you need to make some sort of i don't want to say sacrifice but it is some sort of change it's some sort of 
taking a leap of faith, all right? Because Pisces, you can stay like this if you want, all right? This is September, you know, this September is like Pisces. You can stay like this if you want, constantly worrying about money, maybe, you know, um, you know, making ends meet, you know, living from paycheck to paycheck. Or you could take a few risks, believe in yourself more, and or you could live like this. Much more comfortable, much more sure of yourself. It looks like the, the environment's nicer. Environment may even be cleaner. Look at look at the smog in here, right? Like, let's just assume that's smog, right? But here, you know, the, 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 there, there's pretty scenery. There's greenery. I mean, you know, abund an abundant mindset. An abundant mindset, Pisces, here. Versus a lack mindset, here. Which one will you choose in September? Stay tuned to find out on the Pisces Chronicles. Definitely is some change in structures. A lot of you could be dealing with air signs. Some of you could be dealing with earth signs. Uh, air sign, Cap or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Earth is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. A lot of changing hands. Something about changing hands. Some money could be changing hands. Some sort of information could be changing hands. Be careful with the information that you put out, Pisces, there, or that you uh, give out about yourself, um, that you reveal about yourself. It could be misconstrued. It's almost like you put, you know, you're filling out an application, and you know how they ask, you have a disability, and you put, oh, yes, I have a disability. I have a... Uh, Oh, uh, uh, what's, what's a disability, but not really a disability? Is OCD a disability? Okay, so OCD, like, I have OCD, something like that, where, it, it, yes, maybe it could be considered a disability, but it could also be misconstrued as, okay, OCD is not really a disability, you know, is there more you're not telling me? Do you have one of these disabilities? It's like, yes, it may be a disability, but... It could also be misconstrued, depending on the person you're giving that's taking in the information. They could say OCD is not a disability. You know, these are disabilities. So you know, maybe this person is hiding under the guise of this disability when really they have one of these disabilities. Pisces, all right. Communication is key this month. Make sure that your communication is straightforward, is succinct, is precise. That you're saying what you mean and you're meaning meaning what you say, and that. You know, how you come across is the way you want the information to come across this month. Because if you send in an application, if you send a text, if you send an email, and maybe you think the person is going to get it, but you have kind of an inkling that, you know, oh, maybe they won't get it. You know, oh, they'll read context clues. They'll understand it. They probably won't. So, you know, you may have to send a second email. You may have to send a second text, you know, to just to clarify. All right. Don't, you know, don't underestimate that this month clear communication <clears throat> some of you are in an environment where you need to leave truthfully it's like you need to leave but you're getting a lot of signs and signals pointing you you know in the direction of leaving but it's like you're not you're not getting the hint um, maybe there's fear once again. There's fear of like you know fail, fall, failing, or fear of like leaving something behind. You've got to let those fears go, Pisces, and, and take a leap of faith. Otherwise, if you don't take a leap of faith, the universe, all right, the big guy upstairs, all right, um, somebody is going to make some decisions for you, all right. Better to get out now than to be forced out. Okay. Wow, intense. Okay, so let's get into some more clarification for y'all for the month of September 2018. Virgo season. Virgo is your polar opposite zodiac sign. So it's, you know, the season of the polar opposite energies is always going to be tough on the polar opposite vibe. All right. So let's get some extra clarification for y'all. All right, Pisces for... The month of September 2018. Let's get some extra clarification for Pisces. September 2018. Six more months, Pisces, until your season. 
Are you where you want to be now? You still have time to change things around before Pisces season gets here in 2020. What are you going to do now to change things? You're going to take that leap of faith. You're going to keep trying to make things work in your current environment, in your current circumstance. I'm not saying trying to make things work isn't a bad thing, because some of you, I feel, do need closure in some way, shape, or form. But sometimes the closure can be walking away. The real closure doesn't come until after you walk away, right? Sometime after that. It's usually how it happens. I'm just saying, all right? Someone needs to hear that. Definitely something about Pisces, you're wanting to walk away from a situation. You're thinking about walking away. Could have been that you've been thinking about walking away. Once again, you may have already walked away from it. Um, but maybe someone, a group of people, tried to hold you back, tried to keep you stuck. All right? In that environment, in that situation. But it's interesting because it's like you walked away from one environment, from one situation. Great. But it's like you walked into another environment, you know, similar to the past environment or even in some cases worse. So it's like there may be a couple things, a couple people that you need to walk away from it in actuality, Pisces, all right? I get a King of Wands, a King of Cups, and a King of Swords. Some of you can have multiple choices in love, not knowing which one to choose. I will say that the King of Swords, this could be um, a masculine air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a bit more romantic in a sense, you know, or more expressive with their feelings, but they also can be, they can be a little bit manipulative. It's the water sign, and then I feel like the fire sign, masculine energies, Libra, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo that are more like kind of up in the air, not really sure what they, what how they're feeling, what they're feeling towards you. Might need to get a reading on that, Pisces. Personal reading. Remember, you can uh, contact me on my website, LamarTownsandTarot.com, or text me at seven zero three seven nine one nine one six two. Standard rates apply. Could always be so be something about children. A child um, showing that they're really special in some way, you know, showing that they have talent in something. Could deal with animals, could deal with nature, could deal with self expression, creativity, the arts. And there's, it's, it's, it's interesting because some of, some of you, for your children, they're like, they're taking the torch from you in some way, all right? So for some of you, I'm picking up, it may have to deal with something that you did as a child, all right? You were into as a child growing up or something like that. And now suddenly they, they've got that bug, all right? And, you know, as a child, and they want to do that. Um, nurture it, all right, Pisces? Nurture it. And I feel like whatever this is, it will also uh, uh, be therapeutic for you as well. Love shows up, Pisces, in September 2019. Uh, but love shows up in the form of, should I stay, should I go? I'm over here, you're over here. So there could be some distance in love between you and your partner. Um, single or coupled. Some of you could be deciding whether or not to be single, all right, in a relationship. In September. I feel like some of you just kind of need a break away from your relationship, maybe. You know, like, just maybe spend a day doing, you know, having some me time. You know, like, that. that is necessary, I feel like, for you. Because also there's something about Pisces where you kind of need to get your head clear a bit so that you can see clearly and make some clear decisions about moving forward, all right? And moving away from certain people, certain things, all right? Especially by the end of September, because I feel like what you weren't clear on at the beginning of September, Pisces, you're 
definitely more clear on by the end of September. And this definitely could relate to love and relationships, all right? It's time to walk away. It's time to walk away. You know, like I said, Pisces, it's better to walk away than be forced out always. All right? Maybe not always. And like, maybe in some cases it is better to be forced out. But in this case, it's not. All right? You can, you, you have the power to change things. You have the power to make things better, Pisces. All right? It just may involve some tough decisions. Walking away from some things that you know aren't good for you. You know, would you know, walking away would be really, really good for you. You know, and would benefit your life. But for some reason, there's a hold there. All right, all right, Pisces. This month is the month of change and transformation for my Pisces. So, I wish you all the best. If you want a personal reading, I am here to help give you some clarity and insight and direction. So, contact me on my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com, or you can text me or call me. At 703-791-9162, standard rates to apply. Keep in touch. I love you all. And um, have, a great next, uh, have a great September. Um, I will see you in the next video. I'll also see you for your own personal reading. All right? And make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment, share. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification whenever I go live. And I look forward to doing more videos for you. All right? Have a great month, Pisces. And also, I do subscription service readings which you send a monthly, uh, you sign up for a monthly subscription, all right, and each month you pay a monthly fee, but you get a free reading each month, all right, so you get a guaranteed free reading each month, there's different pricings, all right, so check out all those types of things, there's astrology options, there, there's an astrology option, there's psychic tarot reading options, so check all those out on my website, the cheapest option I believe is $20 for a 10 minute reading, free, free reading each month, it'll be sent to your email, all right, um, at the first of the month, so you have a kind of a month ahead view, for that month, you know, and for the next month, and you know, the, each month you pay. And then there's an astrology option, which is the most expensive, $100 each, uh, $100 each month for a 30-minute monthly overview astrology transit reading, all right? So, all right, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Love and light, and God bless. Contact me for your own reading.